Sex dolls. They've been around for hundreds of years. And more are being bought in the UK than ever before. Are you in love with your dolls? You can't help but form a, a, a strange kind of bond. I look at her and I think it's illogical. And sex doll brothels are popping up across Europe. Will they ever make it acceptable to choose a doll over a human? The eyes look real. You can open the mouth. It's just a game, a different way to express your sexuality. The Italian city of Turin is famous for fashion, cars and chocolate. But a new business is proving controversial. A brothel with a difference. Instead of paying for women, clients pay to have sex with dolls. I'm on my way to a secret location to go and see this brothel for myself. Honestly, I don't really know what to expect. Hello. In each room, you find a bed, a TV, a shower. It feels really squishy. It feels like, um, like a stress ball. And of course, a doll. The head turns. And glasses? What, why? why? Why would you have glasses? Secretary. Oh, so she's like a sexy secretary. She's like a secretary. Yes. So the lips are so realistic and really soft. The brothel owners argue this place is ethical because there's no exploitation of women and there's no risk of getting an STD. Even the feet, they are manicured. So you clearly think about every detail. But then if I touch the toes, it's like, you know, it's... Dirty. It's like jelly. You can open the mouth. We sell magic. The client viene stacca dal mondo reale. Non c'è neanche voglia di andare da un altro ragazzo, da una ragazza, non vuole neanche sentirla parlare. Allora, con l'idea di scaricare tutta la propria attenzione e soddisfare le proprie fantasie. È un gioco, punto. It's easy. Clients go on a website and pick a woman or a man. They can choose hair color, body shape or outfit. Prices start from 80 euros, which is about 70 pounds, for 30 minutes. I'm told most clients are young men in their 20s and 30s. Many are straight, some are gay or bi, but the owners say women and couples also visit. At the brothel, I meet one of Christopher's clients. He doesn't want to be identified. He's tried a sex doll. It was a birthday present from his friends. If you're going to pay for sex, why not pay a real person? Why pay for a doll? It's very different. A prostitute is a real person and can judge you for the way you look or for fantasies you have. A doll can't do that. With a doll, all I had to think about was my own satisfaction. I felt more free. You have a girlfriend. How did she feel about you coming here and having sex with a doll? She found it quite funny, actually. She didn't see it as cheating. Cheating requires emotions, while this was just physical. She just saw it as an opportunity for me to have fun and try something out of the ordinary. So if more clients are using dolls, does that mean that they'll stop going to see sex workers? And how worried are they about losing their business? Lewis is a male escort. He says a lot of his clients, who are sexually fluid, have tried the nearby brothel. In the beginning, we lost our customers for more than three weeks. So it was like offensive for me as well, like am I became useless or why? So your clients all went to the brothel instead of coming to you? Definitely if they are not coming to me, it means they are going to both brothel. 
It's not only a job, it's a passion for me. And I'm just losing it slowly, slowly. So I'm worried about it. Like in the UK, it's illegal to run brothels here. But there aren't any laws on brothels with dolls. And it seems that many sex workers don't actually have a problem with them. Tucked away behind a car park, a photo shoot for Playboy is getting underway. Are you worried about your job, your livelihood? Assolutamente no, anzi, secondo me dovrebbero aprirne diverse e sempre di più senza tutto questo pregiudizio. Do you find it offensive that someone who chooses to pay for sex would choose a doll over you? Assolutamente no. È una cosa completamente diversa, quindi no. Che una bambola non, non potrà mai prendere il mio posto. La escort eh, offre personalità, calore umano, attenzioni, che la bambola assolutamente non può offrire. Do you think that sex dolls could replace sex workers? No, non credo. Non credo. Ma credo che potrebbero prendere comunque piede. Perché? Perché è un articolo interessante. Perché appunto dà la possibilità a molte persone di esprimersi più liberamente che con la propria donna. But some aspects are troubling. Kate looks like a teenager. Yes, teen. One of the dolls in the brothel is dressed like a schoolgirl. Many would see this as a huge ethical issue, but the manager claims it's just a fantasy. Fantasy for men. Fantasy for men. It's not just in Italy that people have conflicting opinions about sex dolls. So I've come to London to hear from an expert. I think there are ethical issues. One of the things that's quite concerning is the production of childlike sex dolls. Uh, there have been people prosecuted for this, um, quite a few in the, in the last year. I think that is a, an area that needs a lot of regulation and um, we have to keep an eye on that. Do you think these dolls could promote the objectification of women? They're an incredibly reductive stereotype of the female body. They're hypersexualized and they're pornified. I think that could be damaging. It certainly objectifies women. Here in the UK, there are people using dolls in the privacy of their own homes. We're going to meet one man who has nine of them. Can I come in? Come in. Thank you. When Dean got divorced and his kids moved away, he started to feel lonely. And so these dolls filled that void. He dresses them up, takes photos that he shares on social media and has sex with some of them. Some people would say that this is a bit weird and a bit creepy. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? I always say, well, why? Why is it creepy? And they see it as, oh, disgusting. Why are you wasting your time? You know, spend time with real people. But my dolls aren't judgmental. They don't say horrible things. They wouldn't have voted for Brexit. And that's why I like them. <laughs> Dean got his first doll because he was curious, but ended up developing a strong connection with her. Do you feel like Sarah is your girlfriend? She's the closest thing I've got to one. Mm. And how would you feel if you started dating somebody and they wanted you to get rid of your dolls? If I met a woman mad enough to, to date me now and she said to me, you'll have to get rid of Sarah. Your doll? Yeah. I couldn't do it. She, Because I'd look at her and think, well, in the last couple of years she has given me so much and made me so happy there's no way I'll get rid of her sometimes I wish my dolls could talk to me you know and I often look at her and say say something please you know it would just be that extra bit of realism and I can see it coming in the future and I hope I live long enough to see it because I think that'll be wonderful and it will help an awful lot of lonely people that there are in the world that just don't have the ability to maybe get out and socialise. For a lot of the people in the dolls, they say that it's about companionship. It's about them having a doll that they can treat with, with respect, like a partner. 
The global sex toys market is expected to be worth more than £20 billion in 2020, and these are now an important part. Dean uses his dolls privately, but in Italy, they've become a business. Spain, Belgium, Russia, Canada are all embracing brothels filled with sex dolls. So, could this catch on in the UK?